In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install the Beyond Depth modpack for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the CurseForge app, as this is a CurseForge modpack. If you don't have the app, you can go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but you just need to go to your search bar and search up CurseForge, like so. You enter, and now you'll find curseforge.com, just click on curseforge, and then you'll be on the curseforge homepage. So from there, just go to the top of the website to get curseforge app here, and from there, you'll see that we can go ahead and download curseforge, and I prefer using the download standalone version. You basically download this, it's an exe file, and you just go ahead and install it to your computer. This will give you this app here. So basically, once you download this, you can go ahead and minimize or close your web browser, and you can go to the new CurseForge app that you have. So if we click on this, we are gonna have the CurseForge app itself, and it'll look like this where you have some games that you can go ahead and choose from, and the idea here is to go ahead and choose Minecraft Java of course, and here it will tell you to set up CurseForge Minecraft modding folder, just do standard for now, and you continue. Okay, once you're done, all you wanna do is go to search for Minecraft projects here, and the other search up beyond depth. And once you did this, just do search for beyond depth here. And from there, you'll find the mod pack right here. It has 400 plus mods. And one thing I want to show you here is that it does have a warning here with deleting essential. That's a mod that comes with the mod pack. If you are playing along or in the server, this is very specific. So we'll be doing this. But that is one thing you need to note. Again, if we go ahead and scroll down, you will need to have yourself 8GB of RAM at least, but in a minimum 4GB, but 8GB will be better of available RAM. We will be doing 8GB, but you can of course use lower gigs with lower settings. Okay, so the idea here, just go ahead and find the install button for the mod pack, and from there, it will just go ahead and install the mod pack for us. So now we need to wait for that. And once you're done, all you want to do is go to my mod packs, and here you'll find the Beyond Depth mod pack. So basically, here you just want to click play, and this will actually download a new Minecraft launcher. So we have this one here, and now we have this one here, the beige one. And basically, this also means that you might need to log into your Microsoft account again, as it is a different launcher. And yeah. So here we just need to go ahead and wait for this to actually go ahead and download itself and then we'll be able to go ahead and actually continue with the uh, setting up of the actual Beyond Depth mod pack itself. Once the new Minecraft launcher has downloaded here, just go to it and here it will ask you to sign with Microsoft if you did not use CurseForge already. So basically, just click on sign in with Microsoft here and it will show up with a sign in prompt and basically just go ahead and sign up your account with Minecraft Java on it. So yeah, let's just do this real quick. And now that we are in the Minecraft launcher here, you can go to Minecraft Java edition. And this is the normal Minecraft launcher idea here. So here again, it is a different launcher, but we do have a Beyond Depth actual game here. So the idea here is to do two things, number one add more RAM and number two deal with the essentials mod. So what you want to do here is just go to installations here on the top, then you want to go ahead and hover over beyond depth and let's start by adding more RAM. So here just go ahead and click the three dots, then edit, then more options and here you'll see that we have four gigabytes here. So we can put eight gigabytes for example if you have the possibility to do so and once it's like around 8000 this is roughly 8 gigabytes so you can just do save and this will be 8 gigabytes for you what you want to do with essentials is simply go ahead and go to the folder icon and from there you'll find mods here click on mods and here you have all the mods that you got so this is quite a few mods but here basically just scroll down until you find essentials so here we are in the E section and essentials should be somewhere 
here it is essential and here what you want to do is just go ahead and delete that and there you go so now you have more ram and you got rid of essential so here you can go back to the minecraft launcher again you can go to play here make sure you have beyond depth selected and click play here it is going to ask you to do answer the risks just do yes and play again and now you can go ahead and wait for everything to download and start off Okay, so once we have Beyond Depth here, you can see that everything is indeed on and yeah, so here is the actual mod pack and if you want to go ahead and play it, you can go to a single player world for example and here you can create a new world. Now of course you can go to a server, if the server is hosting the same mod pack as you, you'll be able to go ahead and join that server and then you'll be able to play with other people as well, which is really cool. So here we just have our world name, here we have our game mode. Here you basically don't really want to change anything except for the name. I'll just do creative here, just for the sake of a tutorial video. But here we'll just go ahead and just actually go to the actual gameplay of Beyond Depth to see the difference uh, compared to a vanilla wall. Alrighty, so this is the actual gameplay. Yes, indeed, it looks way different from a normal vanilla world, that's for sure. And if we go ahead and actually check the inventory, there is 12 pages worth of modded, well, entities, objects, blocks, and whatnot. So, yeah, you can really go through these. And of course, this is seven pages of subcategories of mods. So, yeah. Now there's definitely a lot and a lot, a lot of things to look at. Now you do pages of these things. So yeah, that is very impressive and indeed, yeah, it works great. It is a bit resource intensive, I believe, but honestly, it does look amazing. So yeah, that is how we get ourselves beyond depth for Minecraft Java. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.